Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are taking a look at how to manage and utilize data assets in Unreal Engine using C++. A great example of data assets are enhanced input actions. An input action collects information related to input. And just like input actions, your custom data assets provide structure to store information that is easy to manage and access in your project. Think of data assets as containers that are read-only and hold various properties. Let's create a simple example of an item data asset through C++. First, create a data asset class that represents an item in your game. In your project, add a new class, choose a data asset as a parent class and name it item. Data assets are essentially wrapper classes that inherit from data asset and contain properties. Let's add a blueprint type specifier to the class so we can use our newly created class also as a variable inside our blueprints. We can define some properties for our item. Imagine it has three attributes, the name of the item, a description of its function and a texture 2D representing the item's image. We can add them using U property variables where we specify the U properties as added defaults only and blueprint read only. We do this because this data asset should really be treated as a read only container and not be manipulated throughout its lifetime. After compiling the project, you can create assets based on this new class. For this, right click inside Unreal Editor, navigate to the miscellaneous dropdown and select data asset and choose your item class as the base. And voila, you can now create game items using this class. As defined, we can now set up the name and the description and possibly also an image. Here I just use the sort as the name and unfortunately I don't have an image, but yeah, let's just move on. You can use data assets just as any other asset in your game. You can create variables based on your data asset and also retrieve its attributes inside blueprints if you specified the blueprint read-only modifiers. So, as you can see, data assets are really easy and comfortable to use. But data assets can also be extended. So, for example, there are also primary data assets. Primary data assets are an extension of the normal data assets and provide the functionality to add asset IDs and therefore have precise control over when and how your assets are loaded in your game. By default, only UWorld assets are primary, meaning all your levels are primary assets while all the other assets in the engine are secondary. This setup ensures that when a map loads, all associated assets like meshes, sounds and textures load with it. As this is a pretty advanced topic, I will stop at this point. If you are interested in how to create and use primary data assets and how to make use of asset bundles, please let me know in the comments. And that wraps up our overview of data assets in Unreal Engine. If you found this tutorial helpful or have questions, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips like this and happy developing.